best in the tiny dresses hi guys so, so i'm gonna do a makeup tutorial on this look today it's just my everyday skincare i'm not skincare everyday makeup look i hope you enjoy and let's get to it hi guys so i'm gonna film i uh, just everyday get ready with me i hope you enjoy it and let's just get into it the first thing i do for primer is the hangover by too faced and yeah so just pop it on And I really like it because it's like super tacky. So when it dries down, it's like super tacky so everything sticks to it. And then I also prime with the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. And it's actually a setting powder yet a primer. But it's very mattifying so I put it in my T-zone. Um, because I'm very oily. And yeah, I just need that little bit of help when it comes to oil. And I'm doing that using my Eco Tools like fluffy brush. Oh, it's a blush brush actually. I just use it for this though. And I put it all over the T zone. And then I start with, if I can find it. Excuse the noise in the background also because it's just like roadworks everywhere. And then I go in with the green concealer. This one's from NYX and it's the full coverage concealer. And yeah, it's just in the shade, I think, green. I don't know. I just put it on all the areas that need a bit of, like, TLC. And I have quite a lot of red patches. And I have oily and acne-prone skin. So I just do that. Dab it on. There we go. Right. And I just have green little dots all over my face. Then I'm going to go in. I feel like my everyday foundations usually just mix. But I might just go in with YSL today for the balance. I don't know. What will I use? No. I'll use my NYX Total Control. And that is in shade um, Vanilla I Am. <laughs> So there we go, and it's just the drop one. So I just drop bits on my face because I make a mask before I do my eyebrows. And I'm one of that people. I like to make a mask so when I go and do my eyebrows, I don't have to like try fit my foundation around my eyebrows if that makes sense so it's so much easier i learned this tip from um i think casey clark when she did my makeup and it is probably one of the most useful tips i ever got and i just love the tip i also dab over spots instead of blend which you probably know i feel like everyone knows that trick but you never know this is just my everyday foundation because usually if I go out, I'm a full coverage girl. And yeah, so I apply this and then I go do my brows and I'm going to do my brows off camera. What I do use though, I'll tell you, I use the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Dip Bar Pomade in taupe. And then I will prime my eyes with Tarte Shape Tape and set it with my setting powder. So I'm just a way to go do that and I'll be right back. Nothing but sweatpants looking like a princess Some girls kiss new lips every single night They're staying out late cause they just celebrate in life Okay and then I'm moving on to the eyes now that I've done my brows and everything And I'm going to use the NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette in Warm Neutrals I love this palette, I think it's stunning And it's NYX, like there's not much you can say about NYX apart from it's just sheer perfection Like NYX is always so nice and so amazing um, I was just dipping in and going over my whole lid with this shade And then I'm going to go in with I think this shade here And just put that in the crease 
I love this palette because it's just so like simple and nice and it's just like an everyday go-to palette that you can just do any kind of look with so you can do a cranberry look and you can do like a neutral look and I love that about this palette and it's also the pigment is just there and I think it's like 16 pounds and it's just it's so cheap like I can't believe it like it's just crazy how cheap it is for like what you get and then I'm gonna dip into that dark shade there and just put it here and just kind of smoke it out a wee bit I love a good smoky brown eye. That's like my go-to everyday eye. Brown smoky eye. Because like it's just the simplest thing to do. Especially with this palette. It's like because they're so pigmented you can just like dip into them. And it's so easy to overdo it with this palette. So you have to like be really careful. But like say you're on a budget or whatever. These palettes are just so, so affordable and so amazing. And I would say they're just as good as, like, high-end palettes out there. And, yeah, they just blend insanely. And, like, you don't have to, you know, use a lot of effort to get them to work. Which I kind of love. Um, it's just my, like, go-to sort of palette. And then on the lid, I'm just going to use that pinky copper shade. I just think it's stunning. I used it the other day. Um, you can use it with Fix Plus or without. It's incredible. Um, I think I might use it with Fix Plus today just to show you how amazing it is. So I'm going to spray some MAC Fix Plus onto my thing and then dip into that shade there. And it is the most stunning pink, like, copper cranberry shade. It's just like stunning I'm in love with that shade right and then just for everyday look I don't always wear eyeliner, but I feel like today I'm just going to wear like a tiny bit. Um, I'm just going to go back in with that brown shade underneath, just because it's annoying me and I want it blended okay. I'm just like a blending freak. <laughs> there we go. And then I'm going to go in with my Zoeva Cat Liner and just line tight line all the way along because I don't want it to be noticeable I'm wearing a liner there we go and then I'm gonna go do the rest of my foundation off camera and I'll be right Hi, back that's me back again so I've applied the rest of my next total control foundation I went in and I did my tart shape tape only under the eyes and then I set everything with my Too Faced setting powder that I used as a primer at the start and then I take Matte Fix Plus and a sponge and just blend it out like this just to make sure there's no texture or anything it just smooths everything out and helps the powder to really sink into your face I'm now going to move on to bronzer so I also have the Too Faced Chocolate Solaire so let's just go in with that and a stippling brush so I use the BH Cosmetics stippling brush and I go in and just bronze up my face. I love this. I do have Hoola but I don't like it actually. And I know that's so, so cringy that I don't like it because everyone loves it. But I found it patches and it's really noticeable and it's really embarrassing and you just look like a patchy freaking draft and it's not cute. So I love the Too Faced one because it doesn't do that and it smells of chocolate. So it's the bomb. You need to get this. It's £25 but it's so freaking worth it and it lasts. Right. And then I'm going to move on to my Sweet Glamour palette. I'm going to take Sweet Escape for my blush. So I take this blush brush again from Eco Tools 
and I'll just pop that there. So we've got a bit of scent of so just be careful if you get this palette because it is very pigmented. And I just pop that on. Then I'm gonna take the highlight in into per <laughs> into interpretation of dreams which is the highlight and I'm going to take that with my fan brush and just dip into that and and I really love that because it just like makes you look really cool and then I'm going to take it and put it there put it there too and then all you have left to do is add a bit of mascara and I use the Bare Minerals Lash Domination. I did curl my lashes for a while but I feel like they just don't need it today. So um, yeah, this is pretty much the finished look once I've done this. And that's just my everyday go-to kind of look. And it's just quick, easy, I know what to do with it. It's nothing special, it's not like going out or anything. And it's just fun and I mean of course I sometimes switch palettes and use my masquerade palette but I wanted to use the NYX Warm Neutral and try to use most of my NYX makeup to make this very affordable as well as, as, well as put some high-end stuff in there just to show you what you can use but that is pretty much this is the finished look and then I put a bit of lipstick on and that's me. So today I'm going to take the NYX Cherry Skies and I just put this on. And that's me. Let's see if I can stand up and show you better. So that's the finished look there. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you like this video. Hopefully it uploads because it's going to be very long. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys soon. I hope you enjoy. Give it a big thumbs up if you do and hit that subscribe button if you're new. Thanks guys.